We also have an update on the victim. Police say she has non-life threatening injuries. As for the vehicle, police say they're looking for a red Mercedes Benz with damage to the right side of the hood with Maryland War of 1812 tags. And police also say witnesses at the scene tried to stop the driver and now police are searching for that person. It's a crime that stops people in their tracks. We're supposed to stop and render assistance. That's the law. The driver took off. The person in need of help, a 13-year-old girl. It's really dangerous, and I know a lot of kids have gotten hit around this area plenty of times and a lot of accidents, too. This was a scene at Hullabird Avenue and Searles Road after the latest accident, a hit and run. Residents say this intersection is a ticking time bomb. They fly up and down the road so fast. You know, it would only take, they wouldn't be able to stop for anybody, not even in a crosswalk. This woman and child had a tough time crossing with cars whizzing by, and so did Stacy Spencer. Spencer would like to see more crossing guards. There's a lot of the school kids come down here, you know, going home, going to school, and there's nobody to help them, you know, cross one way or the other, so it's, it's not really a good intersection at all. There's a lot of kids in this neighborhood because there's uh, you know there's a lot of there's a lot of apartments up this way and you know it's a residential area. As police search for the hit and run driver. It really angers you. Parents are holding their child's hand a little tighter. So you really had to watch you know how you're crossing the street because a lot of times they don't pay attention to the pedestrians. And police say the girl was not in the crosswalk as she tried to make her way across Hullabird Avenue. As for that vehicle, police say it was last seen in the area of Lynch and Shore Roads. And again, the description of that vehicle is a red Mercedes Benz with damage to the right side of the hood with Maryland War of 1812 tags. If you have any information about that driver or that car, you should contact Baltimore County Police. Reporting live from Towson, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.